Hello from Istanbul, from the heart of Turkey. I am Ahmed. For the next few minutes, we will talk about Turkish series with Nazlı. Hello, everybody. This week, we decided to talk about the Kızılcık Şerbeti drama. The series become very popular in Turkey. I don't know how the situation is about, but uh, I think people who are interested in Turkish TV series and Turkish culture should watch this series and get comments from someone who knows the Turkish culture. <laughs> are we the ones who know that Turkish culture? <laughs> As someone looking at the events from Turkey, why not? So how long have you, you been uh, following Kızılcık Şerbeti? Uh, I didn't sit down and watch it for a long time, but I know knowledge. After I decided to take make a program, I sat and watched and constantly talked to who, those who followed it. At first, the main subject the series is not often talked about in Turkish society has been discussed. That's why I found the series, the drama, very brave, especially in the media. The conservative segment doesn't come to the for more for very much. You are right. I didn't follow the series very much, but I think I missed a lot by not watching it because it's a series that really tells something. These characters can do very overwritten things at times, but it's not exactly like that. How so? So um, now. There are two big groups in Turkey. We call we call them um, seculars group that lives with a lifestyle that has nothing to do with Islam and um, even about Islamic things. The second large, largest group is uh, the group that claims to make sure that their lives are compatible with Islam. Mm -hmm. I've been both. I have been in both segments. Since I know both parts, some of the extreme things in the series don't seem that extreme to me. Of course, you should know uh, that uh, there are exaggerated things in the series and watch accordingly. The series claims to deal uh, with Turkey's uh, two major uh, societies, but rather than saying it's like this in Turkey, we did we need to know that there are more average lives for example there are in the uh, conservative segments but uh, there are families that have kept up uh, with the western and modern world or there are families who live secular lives and respect religious laws and uh, customs there are not few at all and uh, they constitute the vast majority in other words as in TV series, there is a no such thing as if some if one is a conservative, conser, conservative, or uh, adheres to Islamic values, it is oppressive. If uh, one is secular, it is Westernizing. Uh, there are more homogeneous structures. Um, by the way, the series was considered Islamophobic in the beginning, wasn't it? Yes, but. I don't think that's a right option. Indeed, the drama is trying to strike a balance between both the secular and Muslim segments. I don't specify call the Muslim segments conservative because the secular segment can also be very conservative. Kızılcık Şerbeti is good series for those who want to learn about Turkish culture, but it's a heavy drama. About, yeah. about culture I'm speaking. In other words, many people who live in Turkey are even live in Turkey unfamiliar with the lives in the series, in yeah. both sides. Yeah. Uh, two episodes ago, I guess, Nursama said to her friend, we grew up in a glass bowl. Yeah. We don't know the outside world, she said. Yes, exactly. This this is the way for both segments. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you something interesting. I heard from someone who is unfamiliar with the people who try to live in accordance with Islamic rules. That she think veiled women walk around with their heads covered at <laughs> home. 
<laughs> Interesting. So uh, there are two large groups in Turkey and both of them are unaware of each other. There are also guys like Fatih, someone who was supposedly uh, raised with certain values and uh, was expected to be a good person. Pembe also lead mm -hmm. itself to this saying, what happens if Fatih acts flirtlessly? It's against all the values of the group. The action that Pembe described as flirtoise is unacceptable, unacceptable for both men and women in Islamic rules. Yeah. So uh, the person, uh, Nursema, mm -hmm. married, Nursema married, who was also such a person. In fact, yeah. she was, I mean, he was, his husband mm -hmm. was, Hmm. Much hmm. further ahead, ahead than Fatih, in negative way, of course. By the way, uh, has he left the series? I didn't hear about anything he left the series, but generally, characters who are said to have gone abroad don't mm -hmm. return to the series again. If it was one of the leading roles, I could say that would be uh, that he would definitely not return. Hmm. This is a um, scenario trick, maybe. He was a good character to make trouble, to make trouble good character. If he, yeah. if, if, if it was the drama uh, Valley of the Wolves, Kurtlar Vadisi, directors would have definitely killed the character. There are There is no way out other than death in the drama. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk a, a little about Nurseba. Nurseba seems like a very unbal un unbalanced, character to me um don't mean don't mean super uh, spiritual balance i it seems uh, you know uh, inconsistent In, didn't My, she study abroad yes mm -hmm. so um if you study abroad mm -hmm. even outside of the city mm -hmm. away from your family regardless of whether you are a man or woman your lifestyle will change and you will be, you will become a, a little independent yeah you will become another person you know um, yeah, yeah. but nursema seems to have reached this age without mm -hmm. even leaving home if yeah. there are any of our listeners who studied a while from away from this, uh, his families please write their opinion below and uh, we can discuss about it. Yeah, we want to learn our, our experience, your experience. But um, I think it was two episodes ago when she didn't listen to her father and said, I'll go with my husband. Yes, but this woman is um, her thirties. Maybe she shouldn't have taken it to that stage. This is because this is this stage is very difficult stage, you know. Of course, Everywhere. now let's make some let's some small explanation. What happened while uh, Nursema's husband was working at the bar at nights? Mm -hmm. Nursema had to go out urgently. Mm -hmm. She went and took care of an important job, saving her friend from a very big trouble. Yeah. She prevents her friend from her ex-husband's trap, but she can only get um, get some application application from the uh, from the father father yeah. of the friend she helped. Yeah, and her friend. Uh... She also thanks her, but asks why is Nursema alone? At this time, at this hour, at this hour, she can't help uh, cr criticizing her. And the Pembe's reaction was very ironic. Why are you going to help? Just sit at home and cry. Oh uh, yes, do not do anything, right? Yeah, I think Nursema is under intense pressure. In other words, uh, no matter her education or previous life, uh, she cannot go get out of the spill. And uh, family is very important for Turkey, yes. in, for Turkish people. Some people ask, 
Why does the whole family live in the same house? Actually, this is very normal, especially in Anatolia. And uh, those who get married don't go to other house. He lives next to his, to his parents. Of course, it changes in cities, especially metropolitan cities, but such a reality exists. Yes. So can we say that Nursema is also aware of this situation? Could it be that she works another job instead of working with her uh, father mm -hmm. uh, to en ensure her independence to some extent? Uh, it would be not right for Nursema to completely cut off her relations with her family. Yeah. This is not a good thing, neither in terms of humanity nor in terms of Turkish customs. So, is it right for his mother, Pembe, so uh, speaking so much? No, of course it's not right. No. Kicking out of kicking out of Umut's friends home from the home was the peak of his um, interventions. There are many people I mean, who find Pembe right yes. in this issue. By the way, I guess you think. She is right. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> there are two aspects to the in in incident. It may not be right to have such a stranger at home. Yeah, I'm not discussing about it. Mm -hmm. I do not find it right for Pembe to interfere so much in Nursema's internal affairs. Both Nursema and Umut are adult people. Yes, but whether it is secular or Islamic, Turkish parents are always interfere with the uh, with what their children do. They are, uh, I don't want to be explained like that Turkish culture, but not uh, all time, but a little bit press uh, press uh, family parents. They like it. They are pressing their children. Well, this is also a fact. Mm -hmm. uh, but I still don't approve it. Yeah, At least mm -hmm. there should be a way for everything. Okay, maybe that girl shouldn't have been there. But mm -hmm. this does not require treating Nursema disrespectfully as if uh, scolding as a child. Are you angry? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I can't tolerate uh, injustice. <laughs> this is just injustice. You're right. <laughs> However, even though Pembe acted wrongly, she may have caused something right. That girl created question marks in my mind. At dinner, uh, when Nursema got up from the table, she started uh, teasing her. And as soon as she left home, she told Umut that Nursema's mother kicked her out. So if it were, were someone else, she would say, I found a place to stay. She wasn't a very trustworthy tip. Maybe you are right. I don't know. I'm getting a forbidden apple. Yes, I can. My drama. Why from this drama? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had that uh, feeling too. Different characters come and go. The scriptwriters uh, test and see. There are things that we can call irrational. I think Omar's acts also irrational. He is sick. He thinks... He is going to die, and instead uh, of telling uh, this to his wife, he suddenly says, I want to divorce. I fall, I fell in love with somebody else. He doesn't want to upset Kavulcum. What does it mean that I fell in love with someone else? Wasn't Kavulcum upset when she heard this? I think this is a greater injustice. <laughs> injustice, yeah, of course. It's a classical Turkish movies. Yeah, it it's a cliche, you know, yeah. cliche. Yeah, it's always, cliche. yeah, always like this. There are two people who love each other very much. Someone mm -hmm. gets a fatal uh, uh, disease and wants to other part to hate him. Yeah, God knows how many times the screenwriters wrote about that cliche, but I don't think uh, the scenario will go in this direction because. Uh, then it will be a copy of all Turkish movies. Yeah, right? I think I think so too. And what do you think about uh, acting acting on the drama? 
Okay. Uh, if we make a general evaluation, since that young and older actors are better at camera acting, yeah. while middle-aged actors such as Kıvılcım and Ömer show are more theatrical acting, it's not bad, I mean, but uh, it seems a little bit like that for me. Hmm. So, so let me watching, uh, let me watch the next episode from that pers perspective. You may be right. Yeah, just try me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what do you say for the love of Alev and Allah? I call it um, clever tricks of the screenwriters. Why? <laughs> Abdullah is much older than Alev. In fact, in the last episode, Rüzgar said to Abdullah, Alev treats you like her father. So mm. in a way, it's very uh, impossible love. They mm. both love each other, so it's an interesting dilemma. I mm. think it's a clever, uh, it, it's cleverly created by um, uh, script writers. You know, it's a it's a good trick. Yeah, I agree. And each difference aside, Abdullah is married after all. Yeah, and isn't very yeah. popular character, but does she deserve this material? No, of course she uh, doesn't deserve it. But it's a drama. It's it's yeah. it's not real. Um, yeah. There will be there will be such uh, such a <laughs> dilemma so that people can discuss and watch. Even mm -hmm. if Abdullah and Alev are not physically close, there yeah. are there are many people who see this uh, as cheating. No, it's cheating. Of course, Abdullah said to Alev, "I love you." It's cheating. Uh, yeah, there are also those it's things. Not all about body reflections. The, the words it's all stronger than bodies. <laughs> there are there are also those who think the opposite. In fact, it does it doesn't matter what is right. Yeah, we are just talking about the series. <laughs> uh, for the produce for the producer of the drama, there are only one thing that matters. The series mm. getting high ratings. Yeah. Uh, Typhoon Güneyer uh, said in an interview, the story begins when the king's daughter, the beautiful princess, falls in love with the blind carpenter. So as impossible situations arise, the story gets stronger. Uh, yeah, of course. Let us remind who Typhoon Güneyer is, creature of the legendary TV series Yılan Hikayesi. Likewise, the he is a screenwriter of the successful Tur Turkish tur uh, TV series Aşkım Aşkım and Charlie. Yeah, this is my childhood uh, series. I <laughs> I love both of them. And also Typhoon Güneyer. Especially, especially Yılan Hikayesi. Yes. I very much like oh, it. So touchable. Yeah, me either. And uh, he hasn't written anything for a long time, right? Okay. Yeah. By the way, I would like to touch upon the issue of these two groups not knowing each other. In the series, they portray uh, the situation a bit exaggeratedly according to some. But I don't have a very clear idea whether you are exaggerated or not. Like what? Mm, for example, in the first season, Alev brings liquor chocolate to a family with Islamic sense <laughs> Yeah, could could it be Ali don't know that they will not consume anything alcohol? You are right. Such things aside, I think the consultant of the series is a uh, knowledgeable person about mm -hmm. Islamic things. Mm -hmm. People in the TV series and cinema industry in Turkey are generally from secular backgrounds. Yeah. That's why that they write about Muslims uh, doesn't fit well. Totally agree. Yeah, especially if you look at the Turkish films we call Yeshilcham cinema in the seventies, they're a complete disaster. Uh, that's you are right, but good work has been done for this drama. But after praising the match, I have to mention Mustafa's Eritigelin issue. This this mm -hmm. issue is, you know. I don't want to dis use uh, this word, but complete the bullshit, you know? Yeah, you're right, yeah. So let our listeners look 
up what aerotical is means on internet yeah. uh, they can check what it's mean in such families there there is never such a premarriage experience aerotical or everything like that so this part is the absolutely of and nonsense yeah it's, it's nonsense yeah uh, it caused irrationality in this scenario. In the last episode, a trap was set up against Mustafa. His family said Mustafa would never do anything in a parade. So how did he make love with the Eritigil? Yes, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So uh, what do you think about Doa? Doa is my favorite character. Very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting woman. <laughs> Yes, it's weird. Uh, I wonder if she has a plan in her mind. Uh, the lawyer said, uh, play with the other pers person's gun. She is very open full to manipulating uh, character. Doa said, I cheated on you. Fatih will not want Doa. But then when uh, Kasudi uh, becomes a problem, this time he will be portrayed as a paranoid uh, who believes in something that doesn't ex exist. Because Do went to the TV channel from there, she can bring a witness who says she didn't cheat. There are no other witnesses uh, to the conversation between them. It's like she's playing a country game. Do may actually have uh, slipped with the director, you know? The series is open um, to such even such things. No, I don't think so. Did Doha suddenly change her ch character like uh, old Turkish film Banker Bilo? <laughs> the lawyer said, do whatever he does. She may have done it. In fact, don't be surprised if she turns out to be pregnant later because they made it look like old Turkish movies. Yeah, each of the characters in the series has a story. I really like this, by the way. Uh, so they are not courtboard characters. They have a past, they have a plans and desires for the future. It was obviously designed to be a long-running series. And again, I say they did a really good job for after the drama Huzusoka. That drama is part from a bestseller novel, but the drama was a nightmare. And, yeah. um, okay, let's talk about last week. Well, do you think Alev and uh, Rüzgar will get married? I don't think it makes any difference, even married, even not. Um, be that at, be that as it may, Alev Abdullah love can be continued. In fact, it becomes even more uh, interesting if they are married. Yeah. And it attracts more attention, probably. Yes, 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 yes. There is still a lot of talk about the series, about the drama. We didn't talk about uh, yet Chiman and Nilay. Nilay also my one of the favorite character from the drama. But uh, <laughs> that's but that's it. Uh, that's it for this episode. Okay. Thank you. Uh, to everyone who listened uh, us thank yeah, you yeah thank you yeah uh, let's see you in the next episode don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video bye bye